Potholes and road repairs are always a hot topic. Council continues to pour more and more money into the problem, but the condition of the roads has some looking at reverting back to sand during the winter. It's called aggregate or fracture, and it's used to improve traction on city streets. But the city suspects it's also the culprit behind the poor condition of many intersections. Because of the, the nature of the material, it, it, it's, it's a coarse material, and I'm sure that there is I impact to, to the asphalt. The, the degree and, and, and the, the degree of that uh, um, degradation I don't think is really um, um, known at this point. Now the city is considering the limited use of sand instead of aggregate. The city started using the larger fracture back in 1997 after a significant push from Pacha. That's because the sand used prior to that generated a lot of dust in the spring. I guess it really depends on what, how, how the city is going to manage that in the spring. You know, are they going to get their sweepers out on these intersections quicker? Are they going to do it while it's still wet? Um, you know, and if those things are done, you know, perhaps, uh, you, know, you know, it's not such a big issue. Another big difference between now and then is industry, but large industrial operators have spent millions since cleaning up their act. Industry really has bought in and uh, a lot of work has been done to really improve the air quality. You know, there was a lot of people like Betty Beckering that, you know, they really went to work and, you know, getting commitments from both industry and government. Um, to really make a difference and I think uh, we've come a long way and so we don't really we don't want to step back at all. Another issue for the city to look at money. In past years the cost of aggregate was about four dollars and fifty cents a ton but that has changed. Over the past years the fracture price was quite low um, and um, it, it made economic sense to use more fracture than sand. Um, this year's tender, the prices have gone up a little bit, so we, the city will be looking at using sand at, at outlying intersections away from the bowl area where we're not so concerned about uh, dust and, and air quality. In the meantime, crews will continue to monitor the impacts of aggregate on city intersections through the course of the winter and spring. Cheryl Jan, CKPG News.